hello everybody, and I guess like always here, also known as Sketchman Creations, and today we'll be working towards reaching the culmination of my Portal 2 workshop posts, starting with a series that started and ended it all, bar a few other maps, Escape from Aperture, the original first, then the remake. Let's get started. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Start out as a bit of a poor man's custom map tale. That won't linger too long here. Yeah, that was easy. Yeah. All right, check this out. Starting off with an, ex an ex starting off with an explosion, and oh, you're alive! Great. Are you okay? Are, are you? Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it slow. We got Wheatley enlisting the help of an a defective turret to help to help to help hack a control console. Apparently, who knew they were so knowledgeable of things other than guns? Now, something you'll notice here is that Wheatley is just kind of glued to his rail. It's kind of intersecting it, actually. As we saw it before in SCP-087-AS. I didn't know how to proper do his rail mount yet, but you saw where I learned to in the canned third part of the How to Play Portal maps. Also, you could jump across this small, inconveniently goo-filled gap to the other side if Wheatley weren't in the way. And I'll talk about I'll talk about the command companion cube over there in a second. So here we got fancy rocket turret mount used to push it out of random services. Got a mysterious question mark floating in the void. Let's hope it's not a, a dangerous sea creature of unknown proportions. And back here in, the, in this boot-like docking station, you can barely barely see a table back there. There were some employees were presumably dangerously hung, hanging out but beneath this rather relaxing, below beneath where the re re relaxation vaults are hauled in. Yes, I still know how to English. Now here's one small detail you can't see. This light back here you see shining. You go back here. It has a model attached to it. You can't even see it really from beyond the fence, but it's there. So that mysterious question mark. Right over here. Also, an, a hidden out of sight thing, but an Easter egg this time. You can tell how dated this is, since it says problem. Anyways, moving onwards. I'm afraid the door's locked. Just checked it. No way to hack it, as far as I can tell. You may as well have a little rest, actually, while I work on it. Sure thing, wheel buttons. Now, a few unconventional okay, things. I'm about to start hacking. It's a little bit more complicated than it looked from your side. It should take about ten minutes. Keep one eye on the door. You sit in chair. This will take a while. Yeah, a few unconventional things here. None of which are this missing wood texture, which I pointed out in a previous map. I, ch I tried fixing it, but I think it's broken more. I need to actually dig up the texture from wherever it came from. So you may, you may or may not have noticed there, but when Wheatley talks to you in this sequence, his voice emanates from the speaker podium right here, since you're technically sealed in a separate room from where he is now. And you do actually have to sit in the chair to progress. This one empty marked chair. All the others have stuff on them, that your character is too courteous to move. Anyway, is that companion cube there? It's sort of a rarely occurring recurring character in my maps, known as a companion radio. It's a companion cube with a radio on top. Sometimes it plays music. Alright, let's take a seat right after waking up. Also, you have to press E to sit on the chair to sit down. Huh, interesting. I'm still here, I'm still working, don't, I've forgotten about you. A, 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 A. No? Okay. A, A, A. A, A, B. Hold on, I've done both of these. Skip ahead, skip ahead. A, B, C, D, G, um, H. Ha! Ah, it bloody worked! I hacked, I hacked it, hacked, it's hacked, probably hacked. Ha ha ha! 
Good on you, Wheatley. He even put himself on the, that monitor right there to reassure that he hadn't forgotten about us. Also, the companion radio moved closer to the window to observe us. We'll see you later, May. So, Wheatley is here, but if we ignore him and step forward a bit, we can get a slight preview of what is to come. Hello? This little back corridor. A bunch of ropes. It's a very barren corridor to decorate with all of these diorama ropes, just to, to partition a line space. Grab his turret. Now we're here, got an interesting chamber lock. It's all square beam textures. A sealed wall, which is nothing. And up here, there's a lift, it's just out of our reach. It's inconvenient. <coughs> Excuse me, clear my throat. Ah, oh, brilliant, you made it through, well done. Okay, we have to split up here for a moment. See you at the bottom. Good luck. Well, that was a quick reunion. However, it's, it's not as quick as this. Good news. We did it! I'm in control of the whole facility now. Oh, right, yeah, the escape lift. I'll call it now. There we go. Lift called. Yeah, he's instantly getting control of the facility. I can't even imagine what cartoon physics or sudden teleportation had to happen in a few a few seconds he was off screen for this to, to, occur, to occur. Anyways, let's take this opportunity we've been given. You know, something about this, the way this light is, is at the top of the shaft shined, it always doesn't trance me. I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, you're not done yet, are you? Still gotta get through the door. Need to get through the door there. Anywho, we're on the surface. We're already on the surface layer of the facility. Huh? Some square doors here, one of which is ominously open. I push for our doors everywhere because what are prop door rotatings? And this unmarked front exit. Warning: core overheating. Nuclear meltdown imminent. Okay, look, I've decided I'm not going to kill you. Okay. If you come back. Well, that was even quicker than his takeover. Only Wheatley could cause a quark meltdown a minute after gaining power. Well, only one way to go now. Kinda pretty. Anyways, only one way to go. This rather ancient looking elevator. to come back because I've trapped you again helpless you're at my mercy and I don't have any you're at my nothing you're at my you're at my lack of mercy warning reactor core is at critical point. shut up I should congratulate you by the way I didn't actually think you would make such a worthy opponent weren't you supposed to be brain damaged or something yeah brain damaged like a fox and here we are, suddenly in Wheatley's chamber. We skipped a bit of transition there. We also find ourselves in one of my earliest maps, Wheatley's Core. Originally a standalone piece before it becoming a part of the Escape from Aperture series. It's also known as Wheatley shouts at you passive aggressively for about five to ten minutes. Anyways, step one. Portal jump onto Wheatley. Where'd you go? Come back, come back! Step two. Please oh, I see. Clever. Very clever. Step two. Place convenient cubes onto convenient buttons. Also panels. Can't help but notice that you're not coming back. Which is disappointing. Current redemption lines active. What was that? Uh what? Step three. Place convenient fragment turrets onto these co extra convenient buttons. No, 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 no! Don't do that. Don't. Stand right here. Stand. Stop machine. Stop machine. Stop machine. Do you smell neurotoxin? Sorry, mate. All I smell is you losing. 
Okay, I'll take that as a no then. And step four. Really gets stunned, except not really, because I ne neglected to set his default animation. And step five, take a cube. No! Do not press that button! I forbid you to press it! From above, and place it on this final convenient button. Stalemate resolved. Uh oh. Oh, I'll tell you. Humans? Oh, love them. Just the way they look. Great and their <coughs> folklore, wonderful, very colorful. I can't move them, that's the problem there. Now Wheatley is actually stunned, and now we have to figure out how to reopen the front door, I guess, now that he's stunned. The solution is vaguely visible, but obviously hinted button. Did something break back there? It's just the northern lights, don't worry. Oh, I'm on this floating companion cube. Ooh. It's dark down here, isn't it? Yep, sure is. Oh, oh, no, don't leave me behind. Sorry, mate. They don't have a wrench to pull you out of that thing. I found the party escort. I'll phone the I'll phone the party escort for you. Get you out of there. So, this, this airlock transition, it may not be 100% accurate to the version we just left, as by the time I built it, I'd lost the original file for Wheatley's core. But, if you turn around, and no clip back to, into the room where we came from, there's a secret companion cube. Hooray, and all that. But also, that suspicious button. I wonder what it does. Aw, that's just rude. Oh, when the light goes out. Well, let's just go back to the actual map then. Ooh, it's dark down there, isn't it? Ominous. Dev note: At a point, there was a big Wheatley Labs logo on the wall on the wall above the door where you just exited, but it was a loading screen texture, so I had to cut it since it had to ignore Z on it. On it. Anyways. There's a lift we came down here in, back at the end of the prologue. Can't get back cause through, can't get back through to it because there's a, this gate shut. Got a lot of toxic goo down there that we can't fall into due to our player character's aforementioned inability to vault over railings like Gordon Freeman can. It's still very deadly if we could reach it. Ooh, spotlight. We even stole that thing. It's a lot of trust building effort for one small stage lamp. This chamber lock it seems to be the only route we can take, so let's just go for it. His companion radio. Oh, I missed you, man. Give me a hug. What? Uh, what? What is? Oh, oh. it's you. Oh, hi, Gladys. We seem to have interrupted Gladys as she was assembling some sort of test. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Well, it was nice catching up. Let's get to business. We seem to seem we seem to be interrupted glass in the middle of something here. And that hard and that hard white tiles back there vanished. Did you see that? Override gamma. Now where have I heard that before? It's a title, it's a map you weren't aware. And so we begin this Odd test. Got a portal up there. Just to make sure, and just to make sure you're aware, this arrow on the wall here points out that you can re-enter the chamber lock. So now we've got these turrets here to dodge about. This first one can be removed from the equation completely with a portal. 
Goodbye. Come over here. Looks like we got some buttons to press. Now the next area is open, so let's get over there. So be careful, these light bridges are far enough away from the wall to where you can just slip in the gap and fall to your doom. <clears throat> oh, and Glass gets cheeky and turns off this light bridge. So for this turn, we need to get the drop on him. Literally. Also, in an earlier version of this map, I'd violate some, I'd violate some fundamental rules of mapping. And one effect from that, that some people saw, the goo, the goo is a trippy void. Makes me question why I never saw that in my end. Anyways, button. Another area unlocked. Now for this turret, you take a shot around the corner. Ow. Okay. Grab you, toss him. Get dunked on, and button number three. So now. That last turret over there is in the cage, so we just portal straight to him, and. Can't you protect you anymore, buddy? Nothing personal, kid. Anywho, last button, and all reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Oh, you are kidding me. Well, it seems like something went wrong, and now a platform is conveniently lowered for us to use. Now, in earlier versions, a whole big nonsensical strip of ground appeared in here instead of this more really sensible reason. Don't press that button. You don't know what you're doing. Now, I do know what I'm doing, Gladys. Hope it's you. That was a weird laugh, wasn't it? <laughs> Boop. No. And now Gladys has been drawn through the ceiling, presumably. Through the thin tube of her supporting chass chassis. Like a warp pipe, maybe? Anywho, let's take let's take the companion cube and bail. Also, if you were if you were a rebel and dunked it in the goo, that that, that bomb up there would just blow up all just blow up and drop all those spare cubes. If you dunk all those, haha, <laughs> what a joke, Mark. All right then. Loud noises. Ah, oh no! Simulated panic. We must escape from this place. The gate is the gate is opened. How convenient! Warning: core corruption at fifty percent. We'll leave the cube here for now as we bail back upwards.